Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I will be testing my GPUs moving forward. So the way I was testing my cards before was I would have to go upstairs into the mining room, take the cards apart, bring them downstairs, take my gaming PC apart, put the cards in, test for overclock settings, and then go upstairs and put everything back together. So from now on, moving forward, I would just be using this test bench that I build to test any GPU that I get get the right overclock settings, go into HiveOS, and make those changes. In addition, a test bench is used to troubleshoot your graphics card if you're having performance or overheating issues. Or you can use this to overclock your graphics card to get better performance while you're gaming or while you're mining. So for this test bench, I will be using spare parts that I have and parts from an old mining rig that I have in order to build the frame. It is not difficult, these parts you can order from Amazon and it shouldn't take too long to build. So I made the frame out of spare parts that I had from a mining rig that I built in the past. So the dimensions are based around the power supply dimensions, that way it's easier to just mount everything on there. So this part right here, you can just screw the top of the GPU and the GPU will sit on the power supply. Very easy and very basic design. So this is the test bench I just built that I'm going to be using to overclock every card I have individually in Windows. Um, I made it with spare parts from, from a previous rig and um, I just made a stance pretty much where I can sit the power supply and put the card on top and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be connecting this to my main computer down here. So this is the motherboard cable that's attached to the power supply. At the other end I've attached a power supply jumper bridge tool. So after plugging in the motherboard cable into the power supply, I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible using these velcro straps. So this graphics card requires two 8-pin PCIe cables, one that splits into two and a single one. That way you can power the GPU. So for now I will be using a SATA cable to power the PCIe riser. Typically you don't want to do that because the max power draw from the SATA cable is 54 watts and the PCIe riser can pull up to 75 watts and you don't want to pull more power than the cable can provide. But this is temporary, I will make a video on that explaining what is the best way to power your riser very soon. Now technically the only thing that needs to be plugged into the motherboard is the USB cable, right? And this is a six foot extender so I can wire this through my desk onto my PC and just have it connected to this. So that way I can move this around and place that wherever I want because it does have its own power source and um, everything's pretty much in this system built in. So now I'm just gonna attach this cable to the riser and um, wire it down to my computer. I'll show you guys what the process of that is going to be. So as you guys can see, it's super clean setup. It just sits there. Not evasive at all. We have the power cable and the USB cable going down and it is self-sufficient. Pretty much um, I could plug in any card. I can even game with it. I could do whatever I want with it. It is mostly for testing. Um, that way I can overclock them individually 
write down what the overclocks are once I hit max performance and move on to the next card. So this is my PC. Um, I like this case, it's a cooler case. It's um, very open air concept. I don't even need to take it apart. I can just stick my hand in and plug in the USB cable to the PCIe slot here or back there actually and kind of wire it um, along this side over here. I don't know if you guys can see that's the cable plugged in and it just goes up to the test bench. We're gonna test the card right now. So first thing you need to do is turn on this power supply, which will turn on the card. And then now you come here, you turn on, well in my case, I'm gonna turn on my PC. And now we're gonna see it pop up in Windows. This is what the test bench looks like. Very easy, super clean. Now we're gonna go into device manager and see that the card is being recognized. It says Microsoft display adapter now, but um, I just need to install the NVIDIA drivers in this machine and it should pick it up. Let me install that now so you guys can see that it's being read. I'm still downloading the um, NVIDIA drivers from GeForce Experience, but the name has changed from Microsoft Display Adapter to NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. So once this is done installing, I'm gonna restart my computer and you guys can see that I'm gonna be able to read the card using NanoMiner. So that's pretty much it guys. That is the test bench I've built. Normally a test bench has its own dedicated motherboard and everything else. If you guys have any questions, as always, drop a comment below. I try to get to all of them as fast as I can and make sure you follow, like, and subscribe to the channel.